I was a naval officer and aviator for 28 years. And during that time, a part of that career was as a prisoner of war in North Vietnam during the Vietnam War. I was a POW for seven years and nine days. My message is basically reaffirming the invincibility of the human spirit. To plant the seed of belief in people's minds is that we are all so much tougher and capable than we sometimes or frequently give ourselves the credit for. Jerry and I are married, and, you know, we're husband and wife, but I also am one of the people in his audience that is his fan. He's inspiring and he's my hero. Susan and I were, were here at home watching television. One of our favorite programs is The Voice. And we use the uh, remote control to fast forward through the commercials. So I'm sitting there wondering why he is not going through the commercials because I want to get on to the next segment, the next singer. And so I said, honey, why are you not going through the commercials? And I, and I didn't answer. And she said, are you trying to pee, piss me off, you know? And, and then I realized when he didn't answer then that something was wrong. And I said, are you okay? And I turned around and he said, no. Something is wrong here. I don't know what it is, but I can't make my hand do the things that I need to do. And that was my first clue that I might be having a stroke. Immediately, I said, I, I can't, we've got to get you to the hospital. And the ambulance took maybe 15 minutes at most to get there. By that time, I realized that my right leg was paralyzed and I couldn't move it, which was kind of a surprise. And I'm thinking to myself, boy, this could be a real game changer. Uh, thank God I've made the decision to go to the hospital right now. And then when I got to the hospital, everybody that I talked to or that talked to me reaffirmed the importance of the timing in, in uh, tr treating a stroke. The call came over from the paramedics that they were bringing in a patient who was likely suffering from an acute stroke. As we progressed through the assessment and evaluation, it seemed likely that he might be a good candidate to administer the clot buster drug to. Frankly, the music to my ears was that there was a medication that would address the paralysis. TPA, when administered, dissolves clot anywhere in the body. The medication must be administered within three hours of onset of symptoms to be highly effective. You know, if you don't do this within three and a half or four hours of the onset of the stroke, there's not much chance that it'll work. But, uh, but knowing that we've gotten to the hospital very rapidly and we're addressing this all within an hour of when it had happened was very comforting. We began the infusion of the medication. We encouraged him with this, understanding that this can take time. But by the time I went to sleep and then woke up the next morning after a few hours of sleep, I could actually feel my feelings in my foot and I could wiggle my toes. And that was a huge relief. There's no way I can put into words how the relief that I felt when I realized that my leg was not paralyzed from the stroke. After he had his stroke, and walking into that room, it was remarkable because you couldn't tell that he had a stroke. And man, I'm just living my life as normal as I possibly can. I, I just as if nothing ever happened. You know, Mr. Coffey and his story, you know, really illustrates what the goal of Polymomi Medical Center is for the community is to provide state-of-the-art care and to help them lead fuller and more productive lives. And the fact that you know, Mr. Coffey was able to come here to Polymomi to get treated, that he was treated so quickly for his stroke, again, I think is the main reason why uh, he's doing so well today. I'm just so grateful. One of my favorite talk show hosts, a man named Dennis Prager, said that happiness is directly proportional to gratitude. And if you stop and think about that, happiness is directly proportional to gratitude. That makes me one of the happiest guys I know. <laughs>